Concrete pile drying system using biomass fluidized bed boiler. Welcome to Divi Group's channel today. Divi Group would like to introduce the fluidized bed boiler system used for drying concrete pile. This is one of our boiler systems as used in the concrete industry. First of all, Divi Group would like to introduce our reference customers using our boiler in this field. Number one, Fanvu Concrete Joint Stock Company with five boilers installed in Long An, Dong Nai, and Haizhuang Province. Number two, Hamako Concrete Factory in Hozang Province. Number three, 620 Cho Toy Concrete Factory in Kamte Province. Number four, Kuang Tian Concrete Factory in Ka Mo Province. Number five, Tuduk Concrete Factory Number no. one in Bingzhuang Province. And number six, Viet Hai Concrete Factory in Ha Ting Province. And many other concrete structure production factories. In this boiler system, Divi Group installs the entire four ton steam per hour boiler the steam pipe from the boiler house to the customer's drying tunnel, and control drying steam temperature by PLC. This is the fluidized bed boiler specialized for biomass burning. This technology has been introduced in previous videos by DV Group. You can find out the details in those videos. In this project, the main fuels are sawdust and wood chip. These are also the lowest cost fuels available locally at the moment. This is an overview of all boiler systems. Please take a look at the entire four ton fluidized bed boiler system that Divi Group has installed. This is the actual fuel burning in the combustion chamber. Fuel will be fed into the combustion chamber continuously according to the amount of steam used by the processing plant. If the plant uses a lot of steam, more fuel will be put in accordingly and vice versa. At the same time, the primary FD fan, the secondary FD fan and the ID fan are automatically adjusted to ensure the combustion process is always optimized. The steam pressure for the concrete manufacturing industry is quite low, in a range from 2 bar to 4 bar to meet the technological requirements. The steam is guided to the processing plant through this steam pipe. The steam pipe is covered with insulation and an aluminium jacket to ensure aesthetics. This is the steam header. Steam from the boiler will be transferred here and fed into the drying tunnels. These are the valves that control the amount of steam entering the drying tunnel. This is a temperature sensor in the drying tunnel. This is a control cabinet to monitor the temperature in the drying tunnels and control the temperature in the tunnels according to the set mode. When we want to set the drying temperature of the concrete component, we just have to set the temperature on this touch screen and the time that we want it to dry. The PLC will control the valve to regulate the amount of steam entering if the drying temperature is not enough and reduce the amount of steam entering if the required temperature has been met. This will help the drying system always stabilize the temperature as required by the factory's technology to ensure the quality of the output products. Above was an overview introduction of the boiler system used for the concrete component factory. If you are interested in our products, please contact us via our hotline on 0942 488 818. Thank you. Divi Group brings prosperity to its green energy companions.